mankind when left to themselves are unfit for their own govern- government the basis of our political system is the right of the people to make and to alter their constitutions of government the time is near at hand which must determine whether americans are to be free men or slaves my observation is that whenever one person is found adequate to the discharge of a duty it is always executed by two persons and is scarcely done at all if three or more are employed during happiness and moral duty are inseparably connected mankind when left to themselves are unfit for their own government the basis of our political system is the right of the people to make and to alter their constitutions of government the time is near at hand which must determine whether americans are to be free men or slaves when you assumed the soldier who did not lay aside the citizen it is impossible to reason without arriving at a supreme being laws made by common consent must not be trampled on by individuals if we desire to avoid insult we must be able to repel it if we desire to secure peace one of the most powerful instruments of our rising prosperity it must be known that we are at all times ready for war some day following the example of the united states of america there will be a united states of europe arbitrary power is most easily established on the ruins of liberty abused to licentiousness experience teaches us that it is much easier to prevent an enemy from posting themselves than it is to dislodge them after they have got position there is nothing which can better deserve your patronage than the promotion of science and literature knowledge is in every country the surest basis of public happiness my first wish is to see this plague of mankind war banished from the earth i have no other view than to promote the public good and am an ambitious of honors not founded in the approbation of my country a slender acquaintance with the world must convince every man that actions not words are the true criterion of the attachment of friends Let your heart feel for the affections and distress of everyone and let your hand give in 
proportion to your parts. Nothing can be more hurtful to the neglect of discipline. For that discipline, more than numbers, gives one army the superiority over another. Being no ego myself to any mode of worship, I am disposed to endorse the professors of Christianity in the church. That road to heaven, which to them shall seem the most direct, painest, easiest, and least liable to exception. Overgrown military establishments are under any form of government in auspicious to liberty and are to be regarded as particularly hostile to Republican liberty. It may be laid down as a primary position and the basis of our system that every citizen who enjoys the protection of a free government owes not only a proportion of his property but even of his personal services to the defense of it.